Hey everyone! Today we are unboxing the M5 Stacks Atom S3, a tiny but powerful development board. Atom S3 development board is powered by ESP32 S3. As it says, it's a compact development board. Let's unbox it. Look how small it is. It's only 24 by 24 millimeters. This is 0.85 inch IPS screen. Below the screen, there is a programmable button function. On this side, we will get Type-C USB port. For demo, we will power it using USB power bank. On other side, there is a reset button. On the back side of the board, you will see this beautiful infographic. They have given important features, pin definitions, and hardware overview. Then we will also get female breakout headers, like these. You can connect male jumper wires or headers to take out the pins for interfacings, like this. Then below the Type-C USB port, we'll get Groove Connection Port. They have different types of groove-based interfacing units. Hats and sensors are available, just like Arduino board shields. For example, this is AC voltage measurement unit. You can interface it with Atom S3, like this, and use this interfacing to measure the AC line voltages. You can also show those readings on this tiny display of this board. How cool is that? Now let's power on the board and see the user demo. For that, let's power it via USB power bank and using this Type-C USB cable. You can see, this IPS screen powers up with a vibrant RGB display. This is cool, isn't it? Now, let's follow the instructions they have given on the screen. It says Wi-Fi scan. So as we mentioned earlier, below this screen, there is a programmable button. So, we need to press directly on the screen itself to navigate through this compact user interface. So to navigate, we have to press once. And to enter into particular option, we have to long press the screen. As soon as we did that, it started scanning the nearby Wi-Fi networks and displays them like this. Now, let's get back to main menu by performing long press. The I2C scan. Let's see. It says not found, because no, any I2C device is connected. Let's connect the module we have seen earlier. And it displays the device's I2C address. Then it also features UART monitoring. Then, PWM on port A. Then next, ADC of port A. Infrared transmission function. And finally, very cool demo of IMU sensor. This device has built-in 3-axis gyroscope and 3-axis accelerometer. Please stay tuned for more demos of cool hardwares like this. Thank you.